you find modern day F1 boring? Ooh. I do too, but today I'm gonna show you something that is not. In 1975, Tyrell came out with this monstrosity, a six wheels Formula One car. And when I saw this car, the first thing that crossed my mind is, well, can it survive a rally stage? And that's what we're gonna try today. We're gonna bring this six wheels Formula One car around the Portugal rally stage and we'll see if we can survive. Let's go. This sounds like suffering, and I think that this Formula 1 car will go through hell here. But let's go and see how it survives the Portugal rally stage. And off we go. So, now we're starting with Tarmac. Oh, I mean, it's already gone, so... <laughs> we're now full in. We're gonna try to survive. That is the biggest challenge. But for now, I can tell you already, it doesn't feel... Well, too bad. I'm going already way too quickly. Oh, okay, no, you have zero grip. You don't have any grip. So we're gonna have to take it slowly. And, okay, this is slippery. The Tyro P34, even though it has four wheels in front to, well, increase the surface area of the road, it doesn't seem to work well with rallying. Don't forget, we have slicks here. And slicks that are, well, 50 years old. So that doesn't help with that bloody understeer we're having. <laughs> but I can tell you... Wow, it is actually way faster than you could imagine. Oh, we have a herp in here. And this thing loves to go sideways, but it's actually super fun. As you might know me, I have zero practice on this rally stage. I have zero practice with rally in general, so don't expect me to know where I'm going or what I'm doing. I don't have any minimap, don't have any guides, don't have anything to help me survive. But that's what makes the fun here. <laughs> but for now... No big moments, but I can tell you we have to battle with this thing. <laughs> but I'm pleasantly surprised. I thought it would have been way worse. This basically feels like slicks in the rain. I think that in real life it would have been way worse. But hey, we're alive, so I guess that's all that matters. Ooh, big herp in here, taking a drifting, not too bad. Wow. <laughs> You really have to stay focused in order not to make it spin out of control. <laughs> but actually, I think that if you would put some good rallying tires here, it would make a decent rally car. <laughs> and that was not what I was expecting. As we're going out of the forest now... Oh, big jump here. Will we jump it? Oh, what a bad idea. <laughs> you didn't see anything. Back on the track and nothing happened. <laughs> Just a little jump that went out of control, so now we know we should not jump with a Formula 1 car. Especially on a rally stage. Nothing happened, the car is still new. <laughs> no damage whatsoever, nothing to complain about, so we're good, I guess. What a fast part here, I guess that with a real rally car you would go so much faster, but I'm doing my best, okay? <laughs> Quite a challenge already, just knowing where to go. Oh, that is... Oh no, well... Nothing to see here, just me casually, well, digging into the track with the front wing of a Formula 1 car. But as I've said, you've seen nothing and we're back on track with a little piece of tarmac, people doing photos of our crazy shenanigans and... Oh, it's drifting here too, you have no grip anywhere. Not locking up the tires is the main challenge here because since you have, well, dirt, gravel and stuff, tire lockups is basically, well, instant. I, I can apply maximum with my feet like 3 to 5 kilos of brake pressure, which is approximately 10% of the braking capacity I can do normally where I have to brake like 50 kilos on my pedals. So that explains just how uncontrollable this thing is. You combine this with zero track knowledge and it gives you that <laughs> me struggling on a rally stage with a formula one car that has six wheels i mean name a better combo right but we're still on no issue for now i mean i mean if you forget the crashes we've had but that was nothing <laughs> we're speeding here oh we have a straight can we full send it it's such a bad idea <laughs> i'm afraid i'm legitimately scared here we made it out alive i think that's if I knew where I was going, I could full send it so much more. But here I can see a little bit where the stage is going. One step out of the track and you're you're gone, you're dead, it's finished. <laughs> but let's send it. Oh, no, let's not send it. It's jumping everywhere. But this part is actually quite fast and 
quite fun in a Formula 1 car. I didn't think I would say that after going with an F1 car. And here, hello people, after the jump, little photos being made. And let's full send it a little bit more. Oh, oh no. Well, each time I say full send it, I end up in the grass. So excuse me, people. Nothing to be seen here. And we're back. Wow. No, slowly through the jump, and there we go. So yeah, as you might have seen, I have zero experience in rally, I don't know what I'm doing. But what I know is that it's a hell of a ton of fun, and I can tell you should try this just for the giggles. So now we're going downhill, might help with the visibility, but in reality I still don't see anything. Don't see where I'm going, what I'm doing, I just see... Oh no, let's not kill anyone on the track border. Everything is fine. <laughs> I'm glad that we spin just where people are watching us. This part must be amazing with a rally car. I'm feeling like, like I'm way wasting a huge potential of a rally stage driving it with a, an F1 car. But whatever, it's fun too. So now I guess, yeah. Ooh, oh no, excuse me people. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I hope we did not kill anyone. I have no handbrake on this Formula 1, so I cannot do some crazy U-turns. I could try. But that would end just in a spin, if you ask me. I, I don't have the talent to do anything better than that. But hey, understeer is my friend here. Wow, I don't see where I'm going. But as I've said before... <laughs> wow, that was close. As I said before, it's actually way more controllable than you would think. It was. And now we have the challenge of going back on track. All good. Back on track. <laughs> Oh, that's painfully slow. So as you have seen, I'm actually driving it just with the paddles. And of course, this car was manual back in the day. But I was actually so scared of just the challenge of staying alive that I thought, well, let's not complicate things and just do it the easy way. Otherwise, I would have been doing some crazy <laughs> heel and toe there, but it's not a good idea, trust me. So there we are, again, area with a lot of people, and is this the end of the stage already? Oh no, it's just a... Oh! Oh my... <laughs> That's what happens when you don't know a stage, do a big jump, and drive a Formula 1. Glad nothing happened. But I don't know if we reached the end, because since I don't know where I'm going, I guess we did... I don't know, I'm confused. <laughs> Is this the end? Ladies and gentlemen, I think it is. We survived that rally stage and it actually went quite better than I thought. I mean, we flew, we went out of track, we nearly killed 200 spectators, but nothing happened, right? Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it because it was a ton of fun. And until the next video, well, I wish you guys a great day. Bye-bye.